All right, what's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. I'm about to make a sample from scratch. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight to it. I'm gonna go to Keyscape. I'm gonna go to Belltone, Shuffle, the first one. First one sounds crazy. We're just using the first one. Turn the velocity down. Let's add some root notes. I'm just gonna go with these Arturia things right here. Random stuff, man. I haven't tried all of them, so I'm just gonna go like this. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to Analog Lab and uh, shuffle through a bunch of presets and see what fits in this sample. To time it. fix it in here. I think I want to cut it off at the clap, so you know if the clap hits here, uh, the chord ends there. One thing I like to do sometimes is uh, when I added another pattern, I just put it on this first mixer which is the same effects as this one, and just to see if the textures fits this preset as well. Which in this case it does, I'm, I'm gonna probably, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here, press file, save mixer preset, and drag it onto the second one. And then I'm just gonna route this one here, I'm gonna probably remove the panning. And I'm gonna just like, the EQ, I'll probably adjust it a little bit. I'm gonna keep these two, they sounded nice with it, and I'm gonna add a... Uh, delay as well for this uh, for this preset. Kate pitched on an octave, just like that. clip this quick render so now i'll have all the patterns in wave files so i can like clip some of them and you know mess around with some of them i already know that i want to pitch this one up an octave so i'm gonna try it out see how it sounds here make unique pitch up sounded way better inside of contacts so i'm just gonna do that manually 
So we got a couple patterns right here. Let's figure out a new nice cool arrangement. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the sample. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Appreciate y'all. Bye.